I'd like to take a moment to appreciate the design of this trailer. Is it the best car trailer out there? No, not even close. But what U-Haul did right with these trailers is they are absolutely idiot proof. And I mean absolutely idiot proof. They have these straps that fit over the front wheels and ratchet down right there. Really easy, just like ratchet straps. Then right here, just notice the design of this jack. It's not a normal trailer jack that's just, you know, got a post and a foot. It has this kind of sideways deal here where you jack it down and this arm comes down and pushes up on the trailer. Now, this might not seem genius until you realize that if your trailer comes off the hitch for whatever reason and falls on the ground, you can still jack it up. So, you know, somebody who's not experienced with a trailer and does something wrong over here or whatever, falls off or if you don't carry an extra jack to jack up the trailer if it falls off, you can still jack up the trailer with this jack the way it's designed. The other thing is they've got surge brakes. So for somebody who's not experienced pulling the trailer, you know, this will help control the uh, trailer when braking and stuff, especially if somebody's not experienced brake too quick. This will help with that. Now, surge brakes aren't my favorite, but again, they're idiot proof. Also, you know, if your vehicle doesn't have trailer brakes, uh, this one does, but if you're pulling this with something that doesn't have trailer brakes, you still get that braking feature without needing the trailer brakes. The other thing is you look at this latch here. This is super easy. Just flip up, flip down. And in fact, if you have this up and you drop the trailer onto the ball here, it will flop down. And again, idiot proof. You don't have to fiddle with any latches or any of that. Now, not as secure because you can't lock it. But, again, idiot proof. The other thing is, these fenders here, or well, not on this side, on that side, because that's the driver's side. You see where it says no step? It's because that fender folds down so that if you've got a pretty low car on here, you won't hit the fender when you open the driver's door to get in and out of the vehicle. then back here you have the ramps for driving the car up and off of the trailer here and they are captive in there so you unlatch it you pull them straight out and they catch and you lay them down so they're always aligned perfectly and there's no like having to get them hooked onto an edge or anything properly for safety they're automatically like that and then they just store up under there. The other thing is these bumps. I've got these rubber bumps on the back, just in case you don't know what you're doing, you don't know how long your trailer is and you back into something. Well, that'll save you a little bit, I mean, still. And then these bumps right here, took me a second to realize why they put bumps here. And then I realized, that's again, if you're not that experienced, you don't know where your trailer is, and you jackknife the trailer, that will help prevent some damage to the trailer and help prevent some damage to your bumper. So, best trailer ever? Huh, not even close. But it is absolutely idiot proof for renting trailers to somebody who may or may not have experience pulling a trailer. Uh, I pointed out the surge brakes, but I didn't explain what those are. And Figured maybe some people don't know. So these surge brakes, basically what happens is as the inertia of, when you push on the brakes and the vehicle is slowing down, the inertia of the trailer pushes right here in this linkage, and this linkage activates the brakes that are on the wheels of the trailer. So as you slow down in the vehicle, and the harder you slow down, the harder these brakes will be pushed, um, because of the inertia of the trailer and the weight of it pushing on these brakes here. Now, they can be annoying when you're trying to back up a trailer, and they can also be annoying uh, going down a hill sometimes, depending on how they're set up, what you're towing, all that kind of stuff.
But again, idiot proof.